abstentions. You've just come through the Olympics too, and people who run races often get discouraged, especially those who aren't out in the winning few seconds. They get discouraged and they get a lot of negative vibes. Life's like that. <coughs> Life is considered to be a race, a marathon, and sometimes it's not easy. People get discouraged everywhere. At home, there's not enough money to pay all the bills. There's not enough time to do the things that are needed to be done. Well, there's a lot of things you'd rather do rather than the things you'd have to do. Your kids aren't doing what you think they should be doing. At work, you have problems sometimes with co-workers or with bosses. There's a lot of stress and discouragement and questions that people ask. And one of the reasons we're supposed to come to church is to be built up, to get rejuvenated, to get some kind of enthusiasm or some kind of support. But unfortunately, even that doesn't always work because people get criticized for doing things that they think are right and others don't. Sometimes they don't get praised for doing things that should be done, should be given praise for. Or sometimes many people end up allowing just a few to do the work. Even pastors sometimes don't do encouraging the way they should. <coughs> and there's stories given. One of a boy by the name <coughs> of what's his name here? Hudson Taylor. He was 15. This was back in the 1800s. And he visited his church because he wanted to share his vision to plant churches across China. And he told his minister this idea. And his minister said this, how do you propose to go there? He inquired. And I answered that I did not at all know that it seemed to me probable that I should just need to go as the 12 and the 70 had done in Judea. Go without purse or script, relying on him who had called me to supply all my need. Kindly placing his hand upon my shoulder, the minister replied, Ah, my boy, as you grow older, you will get wiser than that. Such an idea would be to do very well in the days when Christ himself was on earth, but not now. The days before Christ was on earth, people often had disappointments and questions. And the Bible doesn't really say a lot about it, but you sort of got to read between the lines. Because Hebrews 11 gives a list of people who had to do things by faith. Abraham was called by faith to go out of his homeland. Now well, I can just picture him by saying, you want me to go where? <laughs> How? With all my stuff? I can picture his neighbor saying, God told you to do what? You should see a shrink before you go. But he went. He went anyway. And we know what happened. Sarah, in her late years, was told by God she'd have a child. And nothing happened. And I can just picture her neighbor saying, ha ha, nothing's happened. You're too old for this, Sarah. You should have listened to us rather than to him. No wonder she probably talked her husband into going to sleep with Haggai. But it did come to pass in due time. She had to put up with the discouragements and with the criticisms that people had. Moses was at the top of the pinnacle in Egypt, the son of Pharaoh. But then he committed murder and had to flee the country. Spent 40 years as a shepherd until God called him. He just pictured you want me to go where? You want me to do what? You want me to speak to whom? But he went. 
And I can picture all the people around him. You shouldn't do this, Moses. You're still a wanted man back there. You better talk to Pharaoh. You better be kidding. You'll never get close to him. But he went and freed the captives. Noah was told by God to build an ark. What's an ark? What's rain? There's not water within 100 miles. What do I do? For 75 years, he built an ark. <laughs> Hammering in the sun. Hauling logs. Chiseling away. His neighbors out in lounge chairs watching this. Drinking Tim Hortons. Or playing golf. <laughs> Can you just picture? Noah, you're a little crazy. It's not going to rain. There's no such thing. There's not a water, not a drop of water in 50 miles. Can you picture the discouragement? Can you picture the disillusionment? The criticism? Mm -hmm. But he persisted. Yes. He persisted and kept on going. It's very easy to get discouraged. It's very easy to get discouraged when things aren't going the way they should be. Mm -hmm. Or when you have problems. When the finances aren't always there, when the time isn't always there, when the support isn't always there. That's why the writer of Hebrews says, let us also, seeing we are accomplished about with so great a cloud of witnesses, all the ones who've gone before, lay aside every weight and let us run with patience the race that is before us. Because in the end, the goal is worth it. Mm -hmm. Discouragement lasts but for a day. Faith lasts for eternity. Mm -hmm. Something to think about.